the first part in truly creating a new personal reality is overcoming your present personality. <laughs> you got to get beyond the normal thinking patterns, the normal uh, urges of action and habits, to get beyond certain emotions that are residuals from the day before. That's the work right there. That's the part you have to overcome. So some days you just kind of slip in and it's magic because you've been practicing like having a great golf game or a great tennis game or a great run or, or, or uh, a great session of knitting. You're just, you're in your groove. Other days you got to work a little bit more for it. And for me, what I've learned is those hard days, the days that are the most challenging are always the most rewarding mm -hmm. because now you're uncompromising to an outcome. And if it takes you an hour to get beyond yourself, to find the present moment, because that's the only place where the unknown exists, the familiar emotions and hardwired patterns of the past are the known, the predictable future in trying to forecast the feeling of every event in our life, what people do unconsciously is also the known, there's only one place where the unknown exists, and that's the present moment. You so, call it the generous present moment. Yeah, and I've just done it enough times, and there are plenty of people in our work that have done it enough times to know when you're there and when you're not. Okay. And when you're not, it's very obvious, because you, you've been there enough times. So, so you're separating your old story from yourself, and you're separating your focus on the future, and you're being present. It's just like hitting a tennis ball in a sweet spot. You lock into something and that wholeness starts to happen and now you're no longer creating from polarity or duality or opposites, you know. Like, you know, people, you know, people, they create when they see they don't have something. Whether, hey, nice suit, I want one of those, right? And the moment I see that you have a nice suit and I start thinking, I want one of those, my brain naturally starts putting me in the equation. Next thing you know, I'm wearing your suit. Well, that's because we're wired to do that. So then we have this natural ability to create. The problem is, is after you imagine that, you open your eyes and you don't have it, people experience more lack. Well, we're not that good yet. <laughs> so then the act of practicing enough times and beginning to create the state in which you're so connected to the energy of your future. Now think about this. You're so connected to the energy of your future, you're no longer looking for it or waiting for it. You feel like it's already happened. The moment you get upset in traffic, the moment you start judging a coworker, you just disconnected from the energy of your future, and now you're back to the energy of your past. Now, <laughs> if you tell me it was that person that did it to you, I'd say to you, oh, you're back to the unconscious program of being a victim again. So then the person then goes, oh, why well, did I fall from you know, that state. When did I lose it? Oh, it happened at three o'clock today. The next time that happens, what can I do differently? Now the person's moving through their challenges in their life with coherence, with rhythm. They're starting to begin to make strides and that they're no longer knee-jerking to the people in their life that, that they've used emotionally to reaffirm their identity. <laughs>